Thank you. Time back on. Let's wrap Welcome back to Gus and Gorney. Uh, joined by Gus. Big week for us, Max. I'm very excited to be here this morning. Big week. I feel yeah. like one of our segments is going to go for a while. Yeah, I get the I get the sense as well. We'll just uh, we won't go off the top with it because we'll be we'll be here all day. Well, on Spotify and wherever you're listening to your podcast, it shows who our guest is. Yeah, like we found out last week, and it's not Ed Langdon. So, so we're going to let everyone down early. Exhale, but everyone. we are in the process. I tell you what, honestly, I think he's getting closer. Yeah. It like might cost inch. us a lot, but if you look at our microphones, I think we, we got, got some that cash new money. to spend. We got that, we got that influx of cash, yep. capital. Um, but yeah, it's been a big week for us. Should we start with the game? The we'll start one? with the game. Sunday, 3.20 at the G. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was raining. It was for a bit. Every sort of five minutes it started raining. Which I think uh, is good for a team like ours. My old man reckons he moves seats about he, five or six times. He's not done. Sorry, wasn't he sitting in our family? Second level, but row A. Uh, so, yeah. I got yeah, front okay. row. Well, then he would have, yeah. Um, yeah, we um, we played some pretty good football, especially early. Yeah, I think uh, the rain probably suited us. Yep. Um, I think our mindset against Geelong, I've probably had the, the, the better of us since 2018 was to win the contest. We, we won the more important one. Yeah. Well, and yeah. then there was the uh, obliminally. <laughs> <laughs> so Got a lot back, of feedback around that. You did, and a lot of it. So going through the socials, which I often do as a social yep. media manager, um, Anomaly. So a lot Anomaly. of people did. It's close to a blimily. A lot of people did pick up with context that you were trying to say anomaly. Someone thought I was trying to say aberration. Yeah. That I think, sounds nothing like a blimily. No, no, it doesn't. Anomaly, I'd, I'd say four or five people said, I think Max meant anomaly. Yeah. So I'll put my hand up there. I'm, I should be better because I'm hard You on should you. know that I'm trying to say that. Yeah. And I think next time you say blimily, I'll definitely know. So <laughs> I'll improve. There's no doubt in that. Um, Back to Geelong. Yeah. Uh, they came back in the third quarter, kicked three in a row. See, it's a trademark of our game so far is that we always get challenged yeah. um, and we always seem to respond well, so far four out of four we've responded pretty well who so. in particular responded to their three goals in a row well I reckon there was there was there was a certain <laughs> there was a certain moment that was straight after them kicking three in a row was it um, so we for those who don't know we get a weekly sort of goal report from Greg Stafford our goals coach yeah. where it shows it, on every kick that's been that goal or whether it's a behind a goal or a miss completely. And there was one outlier like halfway in the centre square. Yep. That was a goal. Yep. <laughs> and it was Max Gorn. I think that's what you're alluding to. Max Genuine Gorn. captain's goal. Wow. Three yeah, on remember. the trot Geelong. Isaac Smith, who does it almost every time we play him. Yeah. And part of the wingers club? Uh, yeah, he would be. Absolutely. Yep. Definitely. So, no, that was – you arrested momentum. Um, pretty happy as well by the looks of things. I, I got a pretty good view. I was sitting on the bench at the time and I thought you were centering it. So, no, 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 no. I knew Luke Jackson was going to hold Lockie Henderson's yeah, arm and I, I knew it was just going to get over the back. I, I should have known that as well. But, um, yeah, incredible goal from you. Then we kicked away in the last quarter. Didn't we? Bailey, Bailey Fritch. Fritch. Bailey Fritch, who dropped an absolute sitter. Um, Our boy kicked one from the pocket. The beginning. Oh, fr- oh, Lingers. Lingers' role, I mean, we... We talk a lot about Lingers, but I think, uh, you know... Well he, deserved. I mean, the whole world's talking a lot about Lingers at the moment. He's trending at the he's moment. The, he's in the papers. He's absolutely He did back. an interview. He did, and he didn't We're trying to get him in. Yeah, We're trying to get him in here, and he's done an interview with AFL.com or something. Yeah, so I think that's a good sign for us, because it's he's sort of inching towards... Well, how much are they paying him? I don't know. I'll find out. I don't know. <laughs> but um, it was a, yeah, really good effort. And as I said, we've been challenged, and we... Um, fight back and don't give up and win. So four and zero, it's a pretty good place to be. Four and zero, uh, onto Hawks, um, another sort of modern day rival for us. Ever since yeah. we sort of beat him in Ruzi's last game in two thousand and sixteen. Yeah. Um, and again, that was the game where you kicked the last one to me, remember? Right on the siren. Yeah, I do. And then, yeah. you, and then you I missed it. it. Yeah. I missed it. Nice. Um, ever since sort of that game where we finally got them, it's been a little modern day rivalry of Hawthorne as well. And, um, Excited for that battle. So, uh, right. They got within a goal of Geelong. Um, yeah. So if you go on that theory, it'll be a pretty close game. Yeah, they're pretty close to free out as well. Last one. Double ruck, two good rucks, which I'll be looking forward to. McAvoy and Segler. Your best mate. How do are you guys going to go? Do we talk about harvesting out there? Do I bring it up? I think you have to. After the first centre bounce, just ask right. him how the, the harvest how going? the growth's going. Would that yeah. be an appropriate question? Growth? <sighs> you just you do you, mate. Well, I'm not going to – how the harvest how's, is going seems like a – How's the harvest going? No, it seems like I don't know anything and I've learned now, so. You just, you've just asked how the growth's going. Yeah, because the harvest is the growth period. No, it's the picking period. Oh, I forget. Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh, before, I before felt we dumb. Get bogged down. Yeah, look, I thought – I was very proud of our girls in particular. Um, you know, fourth quarter, they haven't really 
he kicked a big score. They yeah. they dug in. They keep fighting. Um, I haven't uh, watched much of Adelaide live apart from the time Melbourne played Adelaide down at Casey. Yeah, I didn't realize how good they were. They're pretty good. Yeah, they're a good team. And yeah, I mean. I'm not going to say the best team won. I still believe that the D's could have gone the whole way. But I, I, as I said, super effort. They didn't give up. They could have easily. Um, yep. And you know, I think you know, prelim finals, no small achievement. So they should be very proud of themselves. And it's a great platform for them to go again next year. 100%. And, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with my weekends now. Not watching <laughs> AFL dub. Ah, uh, geez. You could. I'm going to have to watch the men's, the, the, the two o'clock Saturday men's game. Start playing a bit more golf. Yeah, could play some could more do. golf. What are you down to? 11.3. And you reckon, you, you reckon you're going to get to nine? C- coming in. Yeah. Have I'm you actually, ever been under under 10? Never. What's the never. lowest you've been? This? This. Wow. But I'm putting work in yeah. as well. It's improved. How many times a week are you playing? Uh, a couple of times. But that's not what is getting the job done. For those who don't know, I'm going to the – and who would? But I'm going to the range once or twice. Minimum once, maximum twice, just to, you know, really find my swing. Do you still remember at that cow's paddock? Peninsula Kingswood. No, no, no. The the one you remember it. Oh, Royal Melbourne. Yeah, yeah, I am best course in the Southern Hemisphere. Top three <laughs> course in the world. Who do, who, who does that rating? Honestly, so I've no idea. Because every course down near me is more beautiful than Royal Melbourne. Oh, uh, yep. So you, that, add that little list of things you don't know anything about. With well, harvesting. beautiful is different. So obviously, subjective beauty. Uh, that, look, I, that's a good point. Yeah. I don't know what makes a good golf course, but I'm very, very happy. Mine is number one is or number whatever one. it is. Um, where are we? You went to half back. Yeah, I did. Is that it? Mean out of the wingers club or? Well, no, it doesn't. It, it absolutely. Well, look, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, Maisie's. What, how is Maisie's eye? Have you spoken to him? Yeah, Maisie. He wasn't on the um, the run sheet. We should talk about it, Steve. Well, no, we probably should. That's the reason I went uh, back. We've got a news news hound for that. We do a news hound. A news hound. The news hound <laughs> <laughs> sniffing out a story. <laughs> well, we won't talk about Maisie's eye then. Um, but yeah, look, I went to half back, and I'll be honest, I was had a bit of a rough start. Gave yep. a free kick away to Selwyn, and I was like, "Gee, how am I going here?" Look, because yep. we we have secondary positions, and mine's half back. So I, I know the role. But let's – some people's secondary positions are a little bit out there. Yeah, Can like we talk Rick, about Jake Levis? Rick Levis, what's he, like a Richo w- winger? Wing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Renaissance 2013. I uh, hope people will see his secondary position. He wouldn't have – we wouldn't have thought. Our, our, our guest coming up, um, his primary position is midfield. Uh-huh. And secondary position, you would have thought would have been half back because he played there last year. But how bad he went at it, he's now half forward, his secondary <laughs> position. They want him anywhere near the back line. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, we can break that down for sure. But, yeah, so I went and played half back. And I, besides that goal, didn't get one kicked on me. So That's good. Took a couple of intercept marks. Certainly did. They're easy to take down back. Aren't they? Yeah. And, you, know, you know, I just followed Rick's lead and didn't play on anyone and floated across. So. I called him Rick on Channel 7 News. So I call him Rick all the time, and yeah. I don't think anyone knows who I'm talking about. Tim Watson asked me, uh, was Rick. "What was the what, what happened when Maisie went down? How do you juggle, uh, juggle the back line?" I said, "Oh, Tomo and Rick were really good." Yeah. <laughs> what, how, did, how did Rick? <laughs> yeah, geez. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Uh, it was a big day for you yesterday. Was um, Danielle's birthday? Yeah. In ex- fact, executed on Sunday. Yeah. As I was leaving the change rooms, we're, so we're sort of there for an hour post game. We do yeah. a bit of a review. We sit down. We Recovery. stretch. Yeah, we take our time because Brunton Avenue's closed, and you don't want to be driving anyway because it causes mayhem going the other way. Uh-huh. Um, so you sit down, relax, and obviously the girlfriends aren't allowed into the rooms at the moment due to COVID. So they're in their own little room, I think drinking a lot of alcohol because <laughs> the, the moment I saw Danielle, she was, yeah, she was up and about. Look, you've got to respect, you've got to respect the um, the passion and the commitment. There was a president's lunch yep. for a few of the girls, which is, um, you know, they just get it all laid on uh, yep. food. And you only turned 25 once, don't you? Drinks, it's her 25th birthday yesterday. That's what I, you know, uh, so you're right. I actually heard her before I saw her. Um, <laughs> Um, when she come out and saw you, uh, but look, no, she was we, you know, great form. Went home and had a nice roast. And where did you go last night for dinner? Francois. Francois. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, the fancy steak joint on Turak Road, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, that's a special occasion type place. Well, you only turned twenty five once. You been there, Gibber? No. The news. Maybe we take the podcast there. Wow, that's our podcast spot. It's very authentically French. I've actually been to Paris with my older brother once, which was you know something. Yeah, it's right. pretty good though. Good, that, good food. That's good, good wine. Thing, um, last thing we talk about before we go to the segment. Uh, what are your thoughts on the smoke in the race? 
Well, I'd ask your thoughts first because you are the you're, you're walking up there first. Well, the Frio game you round one, I couldn't say anything. I don't know how you. Did I just it. backed in that I was walking the right line. So you literally, like people think we're probably talking it up here. I couldn't see a meter in front of me. Yeah, so I had Jim Jordan a meter in front, like genuinely within a meter, within a meter, and yeah. lost him the second I walked in in the smoke. So I'm, but I kind of like. I'm not, it. I'm not blowing smoke up you for for the pun. Better you like that pun? Not blowing smoke up. Well, we can't say that word, can we? We'll bleep it out. <laughs> <laughs> I was half good. I didn't commit to it, and I went back to it. No, um, it looks good. And I kind of sh- liked it. But then yeah, so we're the one just, the one just gone, yeah. there was less smoke or the smoke was pointing in a different direction and you could see. Did we still get the camera? So the, the what we, I'm sure what we do it for is Max Bourne. And there. always Cozzy's just behind me. Cozzy's and Bailey's in. usually in around the... Yeah, okay. And if Oscar Baker plays, Oscar Baker's so fighting Cozzy. in front for, of you. Yeah, Oscar Source Baker's there. fighting for P1 as well. Every photo, I tried to do a photo when I signed for four years <laughs> and I tried to do a photo of me leading the team out and every photo has Source yeah. literally right there. <laughs> no, right no. hand man. Uh, you know, <laughs> any publicity is good publicity. Maybe the, I'll get up there next time with a Gus and Gorney banner on yes, the way Yes, please. And Langers. And Lingers. I'll grab Lingers. He'll come along. But um, no, nah, I, look, I think the, do we still get a good photo even when the smoke machine's out? I think so. Well, then it's, you know, That's I'd, I'd rather it's... be able to see where I'm going. Yeah, um, maybe it's me and my natural hab- hab- habitat. <laughs> could be. I think you're trying to say habitat. <laughs> I just said it. I just stuttered. Okay, I'm with you. Um, anything else we want to talk about? No, nah, let's, let's go to Lingers. Yeah, let's. All right. It's Eddie Langdon. Yeah, yeah. Segment. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't sure if we were going to break. But it's usually Gus first yeah. that says yeah. it's Eddie Langdon as well. You know, it's 2021. We're changing things up. Okay. This Huge week. This is big. Our this guest is here, but we're not going to rush this segment. We can't. Sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. No, they know. Random guest. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We, have, we had this conversation <laughs> last week. Um, huge week for Lingus. Yes. Uh, you know, where do we start? His role on the wing is... Yeah, you give that a tick. He's he's everywhere at the moment. Is he an all Australian winger? Yeah, apparently, and he's the reason why we're winning. He should. Well, no, sorry, he said Choco's the reason why we're winning. In his well, interview. okay, let's let's should we get this out of the way first? Yeah. I think. Um, Have they met Choco and Langers? Not sure. I actually saw them. Can I guess? This is, <laughs> I saw them once. Yeah. They were standing outside the front of the. You know where when we come out of the Casey rooms down the race, and there's that little gate. Lingers was on the so Choco's on the gre- the ground side. Lingers yep. is trying to walk away into the rooms, and Choco's like almost put an arm on him, and like they, I reckon they spent ten minutes talking. Yeah, right. Haven't seen it happen since. Okay, but you're right. Lingers is his role is unreal. Um, so I'm gonna give him a tick there. There's this little concept we're working on the two of us called the Wings Club. Yep. He's the president, and he's what really. Are you? I'm the secretary. Yeah. And treasurer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and he's and really source? source is the international exchange student. His <laughs> his chunk in there. Chunk is chunks on the board of directors. So yeah. he's that older. So honestly, we've done this for everyone. <laughs> chunks the older. Um, you know, he's been in a few different departments, a few different um, industries, and yeah. he's got such a wealth of wisdom. He's playing on the. He's in our industry now, the Wingers yeah. Club. Is but Aaron Aaron Nitschke? He said, "Need is." Uh, <laughs> oh no. So I want to go past that. Marty Hawes, the, um, we've got like, you know how you've got, uh, you know, finance and marketing. You want to get a little experience in somewhere else. You come, he's the interdepartmental transfer, Marty Hall. Yep. Um, who else am I missing? Vanders is a disgruntled employee. Yeah, well, that suits him to a T. <laughs> oh, anyway, oh, right. back to anyway. Lingus. So, but Lingus is in, engaging in this banter, so yep. he loves it. Like yep. he was telling me how- um, He's happy to be the president. He loves the presidency yep. and he's not going to give it up. Um, Bit of a dictatorship. Unlike Bart's, who, you know, so eight years is now. It is almost a dictatorship, by yep. the way. But I love it. The yeah. dictatorship <laughs> thing is, I think it's brilliant. So that there's that. Now, more importantly, after the game. Was, did, are we talking the photo or the, the membership push? Because they're both quite alarming. Okay, we'll go membership push first. Um, that was quite funny from you. It was. And Viney doing another tackle. Like yeah, Viney played his 21st tackle. Yeah, to bring Langers in on the video. And there was, he, he did a membership push. He did, but once he was in there, so he didn't want to be there, yeah. but then once he was in there. Once he started speaking. Nailed it. Yeah. Said uh, something about. I'd love to see how many members he got. So all right, we can get the, we can get the increase after the game and attribute it all to Lingers, I'm sure. Oh, he's best on as well, so. Best on as well. Um, I think another thing of, of note before we get into the, the big piece is that he did a, um, interview for AFL.com. Yep. 
which I think shows a real sign of growth for him. I obviously. need to know how much that costs. Yeah, so that we can work on that. I think that's also a good sign for us that we can get him on the podcast yep. eventually. Um, but now what I want, wanted to get to- We need to talk is, about the pick star, don't we? Okay. We can no, do the photo. Do the photo. So we were walking off that we've just won. Yep. Siren's gone. We're under your um, direction. We're sort of walking around the ground to, um, you know, thank the fans, Hamji, for, for coming on uh, and, you know, supporting us. And all of a sudden, like, there's the, the camera pans to Gorney doing the clap, tracking Ricker on there on the left. And then all of a sudden, uh, the camera pans to Lingers and myself. And I sort of look up and I, I realise. Is that Lingers and me. Camera pans to me. Yeah. Lingers and Ca- Lingers Camera pans to myself. Okay. I get to not, it doesn't sound great. You're yeah, right. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, camera pans to the of me. And I realise this. So I, I'm panicked all of a sudden because I know that these things, they usually swap pretty fast. So I sprint. I get on the, yeah, get on the hop and get a hold of Lingers and we're, now we're, you know, sort of roughing about, <laughs> having a good fun. And the camera, I'm pointing the camera. I was like, look at the screen, Lingers. Look at the screen. And he's like, he's like oh, get off me. And like, you know, that's it supposedly. But no, for the next minute, the cameras just follow the two of us around and Lingus starts running away and I'm running after Lingus and it's just following us everywhere we go and I reckon genuinely a minute's worth of film which, we, which we're which we going to dig up yep. from um, the MCC, the marketing department or whatever, have gone to get their hands on that. The MCC marketing department? Of it. The MCC or the marketing department. You can run that back <laughs> as well, by the way. There's a small or. Um, they're going to get their hands on that. And then what... I think really is a sign of where we're at with this yep. is walking down the race. So we've run around for a minute. We've had our you know beautiful moment, and then we're walking down the race. Did you hug sort again? Of, be pun? Did you hug again? No, no, no. Oh. So at this point, we've just sort of all right. We've had our minute of glory. We're just walking down the, into the race to sing the song, and I'm maybe a, a step in front of Lingers, but just by coincidence. This is not by design. And there's a few blokes hanging over the rafters, screaming positive Lingers. That's great. And there's we've actually got like it's uh, you know the live photos you can take where um, it's sort of like shows if a still, but there's like a, a bit of movement attached to it. I grab, turn around, grab Lingers, and these blokes are like hanging over the bed, like screaming positive Lingers as loud as I can. And I think like Max that there's some legs on this. That's great. That's great. And hashtag, Lingers is embracing it. Positive Lingers. The amount of people commenting pom- positive Lingers on our yeah. socials. This is huge. And it's obviously a direct correlation with form. Has yeah. to be. Yeah, he obviously reads it. He has to. Yeah. I think it's just brilliant. I think it's a positive place to be at the moment. The Wingers Club, Melbourne FC in general. And I think Lingers is starting to embrace it, which I think is the positive for this week. Just for next week, we have inquired to Ed Langdon's Pickstar account. We have. We're trying to get him. Constant yeah. email correspondence. Yeah, we are getting a reply. I don't think they have a direct line to Ed. I think it's they, a bit of a conspiracy. Because they're trying to pass us off to someone yeah. else. <laughs> no, we're pretty clear we want Ed. Just Ed. And Just Ed. Like, well, you know, we might not be able to get him. And I was like, well, I don't that's want anyone else. That's because you don't have a direct line to him. No one does. We're actually building a bit of a case here, like a conspiracy case. And I've got a heap of screenshots of our correspondence. Yeah. It doesn't look great for Pickstar. No. They're advertising it as though they've got a direct line of lingers. They yep. just, I don't, I'm not sure they do. Um, so hopefully we do get onto him and we're able to get him in at some point. Maybe the more Instagram carry on, the better. I reckon the more people comment positive lingers just in general and then on his stuff specifically as well, yep. I reckon that'll, that'll excite him. That's a positive week for him. Let's, uh, let's take a break. Let's. Thanks to our co-principal partner and podcast sponsor, Zurich Insurance. For over 100 years, they've been insuring the people and things you truly love. And just like you, they truly love footy and they truly love the Ds. We're back. Uh, we've got our special guest on, but before we get to James, we're going to thank our sponsors. Yep, um, Squash, Clutch & Co., The Wine Bar. Uh, hey, 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 hey. The Wine Bar. East End Wine Bar. Come on. East I End don't wine say bar. onions. You're right. That's on me. Uh, the, uh, East End Wine Bar, <laughs> The Onions, uh, <laughs> no com- no competitive sportswear apparel labels. Uh, Correct. Fat Nut Customs, Unique Fat Diamonds. They're great friends, Fat Nut Customs. Huge friends in the podcast. And they're, what are you, the director? Of fat nuts on right now. It's James Harms. How oh, are you? We're not too sure. I'm actually not too sure what my role is there, Gus. Um, <laughs> You're the nut. <laughs> I'm the nut, and my mates are fat parts. So that's where we got fat nut from. Yep. Um, obviously, the glass printing company, which is going pretty well at the moment. Is have it? You, um, have you got one? Uh, a glass printing company. Yeah. No, no, no not prints. the company. An actual glass print. I have. I've inquired a few times. Never got one. Wow. What's well, up? You there? can go online and buy one. Tell you what I have or? done. <laughs> Tell you what I have done is I reckon, I reckon I've recommended five blokes that have gone and got. Wow. Have. Surely Charlie he gets Const- a free. Charlie Constable, Luke Geelong. Davies, Uniac has gone and got a few. Aiden yeah. Bonner, a few of the boys. Um, Jeez, you know some footballers. You've got one, haven't you? There, Mac? Haley boys. Yeah, I got one of Queenstown. Queenstown. So, I might get one. Can you do one of Royal Melbourne? 
I'm sure we can get the, Now we're talking. Oh, we'll talk. Talk. Yeah. Paddock. We'll talk. Yeah. I actually wanted to start, Harmsy, off the top, talking about the economic impacts of COVID on um <laughs> on Fat <laughs> Nut. <laughs> oh. Nah, we actually, Sorry, like, I can't to be honest, it actually helped us because, Gus, we're an online company yep. and people were spending money online. So, um, That's brilliant. We actually, our sales went through the roof last year, which was, um, which was good for the company and good for me. So yeah. uh, <laughs> COVID benef- benefited me. Yep. Uh, was that right? Yeah, yeah you got benefited. Uh, be- benefited. <laughs> that one wasn't. That I'm not one saying wasn't. that again. <laughs> you got it right the first yeah, time. Yeah, it helped us say it out a bit last year. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm not trying that one again. No, that's good you needed to be better to be able to hold that question. I'm sorry, I got halfway through asking about the economic impacts. Of, I, know, I lost it, but it's good to hear, mate. Um, should we talk about your hand? Yeah, what's 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 wrong with you? I've broken the scaphoid, so round one, um, just landed on it a little bit funny, and uh, yeah, just a little bone in the in the wrist just in there. It's Maxie. not the bone you want to break, is it? Nah, it's kind of like the navicul of your uh, hand. So, yep. um, seeing Jason Harvey, the big rooster. Um, if you haven't haven't met him, yep. Rooster. Where's he work out of? Uh, the Epworth in just in Richmond on Bridge Road. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping uh, in a couple of weeks I can get back to uh, playing. Um, started doing a few light skills last I've week. Seen you out there? Yeah, yeah. I've been pushing. I've been pushing <laughs> videos every day. That's good. Let me do drills. I mean, I came up to him actually last week and mm. asked. Do you, you honestly can't believe why you can't train? I'm like, because you've got one arm and a brace. Yeah. <laughs> you've yeah, been running so around though. so Yeah, I've been, I've been keeping the legs fit. So, yep. um, yeah, I'm feeling good. And hopefully, yeah, some good news comes back when I get it scanned in a couple of weeks. So when you did it during the game, like third quarter? Yeah, start of the third. So did it hurt in the fourth? It was a little bit – it felt a bit flimsy, but it's one of those ones where um, like people will play with them for, for like the whole year and not even realise. Oh, that really? Actually. That's when it, That's gets, when it really gets worse. Bad. So, yeah, I was lucky I got on top of it quickly. Weren't you doing something else that post game? You were quite sore somewhere else as well. I uh, broke my nose as well. That game. Yeah, yeah. So, you were- couple, couple <laughs> breaks. <yeah. laughs> a few breaks in, right? in the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Milk in me. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of calcium. Brittle, <laughs> Brittle bones. <laughs> Um, so you're just sitting in the stands at the moment. That must be um, quite annoying for you not to be out there but winning, but good to see the team still winning. Yeah, definitely. It's a bit – it's been – I mean, it's a bit different. I haven't been able to watch a game in, uh, at the MCG for a while. Yeah. Um, it's, been a, it's been a few years. So, um, yeah, it's weird sitting in the stands. It's great seeing the boys playing well and, um, you know, I just can't wait to get back out there and hopefully be a part of it. It was Teddy Malkstrom's first game watching his dad play. and Yeah, I did see that. I swear Teddy's been around for ages. Uh, well, how old is he? I'd say he's almost two or past two. Yeah, I think he is. No, nah, I think he's James. Really, you know, I think he is. I think he just turned two. You his godfather. Two, he's a big two year old. He is a big fellow, yeah, isn't he? He's, he's a big, big boy. boy. <laughs> big boy. Um, let's go serious for a little bit. Let's let's go journey. Let's talk about the journey. Let's what would what would number four harms tell number forty three harms? Oh, gee, I didn't know we were going to get serious like this. No, we just got to change it up. Hey, you not listen to the podcast. <laughs> um. For those, number 43 was your first number? And your 43 first, was my first number. How many years? Two years in that? Oh, no, I wore that for a few years. Probably four, maybe. Yeah, right. Three or four. Um, probably to enjoy enjoy the ride of what it's like. I mean, it goes so quick. Yeah. I mean, thinking back now, it feels like yesterday that I was drafted. So, um, yeah, it's just gone so quick and... That's probably the advice I'd. We're in our. You're in. You're in your eighth, eighth year. year so How I'm old are you now? I'm 25 now. So I'm, a of, I'm, I'm a veteran, nearly. I know. Oh, guys. absolutely, you are. You only so, turned 25 once, oh, mate. Yeah, that's what I that's always right. say. Yeah. And uh, your story is a good one as well on the rookie list and really. Melbourne to scrap supporter. Board. Melbourne supporter. Yeah, so the I Melbourne supporter that, rookie. Yeah. You know, overlooked in the draft. A few questions raised there, Gus. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about it a few, a few times here and there. But if yeah. they redid the draft, are you top 20? Um, that's a bit insulting, isn't it, Max? I don't know. I don't, I don't know, Max. What, what's your thoughts? Well, I don't know who else is in the draft, but I dare say you're leading. Josh Kelly, Bob you'd be in the Pelly. top 15 for games. I'd be up there, but there's some good players in, in my draft. So, yeah, right. Um, my I'd draft's be, got three brown lows. Really? Yeah. Have you, have you gone close? No, nah, five, yet? two, Martin, one. I reckon I would have been picked two, five, pick three. <laughs> Martin, one. Martin, yeah. one. I mean, Martin's, Martin's not a bad player. Martin's so. pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you copy Martin in a lot of ways. You got some new some new tats coming along as well, James. Do you still catch up with Dusty? 
Nah, me and Dusty don't catch my mate. <laughs> there's a great, there's a great story. We might as well bring it out now. Of, what one? Do you, so you're, Dusty, you're, you're going Dusty, and Oscar Baker were having a bit of a fight. <laughs> Yes, and, so and and Hans is caught up with Dusty a few times in the off season for a drink and yep. um and talks to him every now and then about tattoos and, yeah, and yeah, getting yeah. him some fat nut customs and whatnot. Does he have a fat nut? No, we're in the works of getting one, and then he's given me nothing since. You got to so. give him. You got to give him a hundred grand to get on his yeah, inside. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough one. And Oscar Baker and Dusty having a bit of a fight, and Oscar looks like he needs some help. And Harmsy gets over there and goes to Oscar and tells him, <laughs> and tells him to oh, get yeah. off Dusty. Now I have heard that. I have heard <laughs> that. Now, James. This is this is gone tax getting put on. His I story. have heard that, James. That is not true. I went over and I broke it up. Yep. I said, "Saucy, he's probably a bit out of your range. <laughs> <laughs> he's a bit bigger than you, mate." You just go over there. I was in. I came over and I just. I diffuse the situation. That's when you get in there and I'm sticking up for Saucy, a member of the Wingers Club, full paid up member. Um, you got to get in there and help him. Oh, yeah. Where am I in the Wingers Club? Because I come on the wing sometimes. It's not right? even in so your first or second position. Yeah, and I want to touch on the first <laughs> and second position. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was listening before, yeah. and when my second position wasn't half back, I thought to myself, geez, I must have gone bad last year because <laughs> that's just signs that I'm... Yeah, they want you, you forward now year, before, so. before back. Forward, you are a forward. Yeah, I've seen like you kick to, a few. I like, to, I like to take a mark and try and kick it. Yeah. So your screamer's gone out of your game. You need to get your screamer back. Well, I thought it was coming back, but the yeah. broken wrist has kind of put me a few weeks behind. Just I mean, get I on the specky bag few, out there. I went up for a few against Freo, but I was dropping them. <laughs> yeah, you got a free kick for one. Yeah, so broken wrist though. Which broken is wrist, but you did get up. That's what's yeah. important. Yeah, another reason why you're not in the wingers club is because our president and um, director, Ed Langdon, <laughs> doesn't yet follow you on Instagram. Yes. Now, I, to- I just re- recently mentioned that to you. Um, I was texting Lingers after the game, obviously saying, great game, Ling Ling. Um, I'd love to get around him. I'd love to wind him up a little bit. Yeah. And it came to my attention, Corey, my girlfriend, actually told me that Lingers doesn't follow me. Okay. Now, I don't know if Lingers fo- follows Corey or not. I haven't looked into that. <laughs> it <but> should. <laughs> I texted Lingers. I said, Lingers, I haven't got a follow back from you on Instagram yet. What do you say? He goes, we have to catch up for lunch first and then you'll get a follow, mate. Oh, so he actually re- replied to you and told you that. Yeah, right. So I think me and Ling Ling are on a lunch date this week, which oh, I'm looking forward to. Well, he catches up with Goody once a week for, for dinner. So which is positive. It, yeah, so I'm sure he'll love to catch up with you. Oh, maybe I can jump in on that. Yeah, dinner. you go jump in. <laughs> um, now, you just mentioned Corey. That's the biggest change in your life the last couple of years. You've now got a a full-time living together American girlfriend. Yep, it's been a big change for me. Um, I was a single man for the first six or seven years of my football career, which is um, obviously good fun. What are you implying? (laughs) But um, (laughs) now I've been locked down for the last year, so Corey moved over um, from the States and started just before COVID last year. Um, So, you know, we got through COVID, so... You can get I mean, through anything. You can get through anything. I mean, she hasn't uh, been home for a while. She hasn't been home for yeah, a good year and a bit now. So we actually just got a new king bed, Maxie, which I mean, <laughs> I've been talking about for a while. He's asked me what sort of bed I have about ten times the last two weeks. Now, just have you used <laughs> any of you used Air Tasker? Uh, that's the one. Every where now and then, you, like, that's where you pay someone tasks. to do something. Yeah. I chucked up my king bed frame on Air Tasker. Was it an, I- an IKEA nah, sort of setup? A, but a flat pack. Yeah, it was flat a flat pack. pack. This boy came around. He did it in thirty minutes. And how much? <laughs> It was two hundred bucks. Oh Jesus, that's I, steep. I, I think I put I put the money out. Like oh I, okay. I put it on the app two hundred because I thought I you can get IKEA stuff. flat packers for like twenty bucks. Yeah, they well, come out do it for twenty bucks. So I, I had a lot of inquiries. Well, no wonder why he there. came. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, it was worth every cent. Yeah, he did it. I slept on it last night. How was it, mate? I didn't want to get out of bed this morning. <laughs> no, you did for the podcast. Well, that's the reason I came. Yes, really, yes, but, yep. Um, yeah, one of the best beds. Regal sleep. Very good sleep. I'm allowed to mention them. Yeah, friends sure. of ours. Chuck them in the auction. Um, uh, the auction, what did I say? You said auction. <laughs> I, I said don't know auction. why. But um, yeah, the- regular sleep, beautiful mattress. Actually, big Stevie May recommended it. So. Big Maisie. Oh, yeah, Maisie. He's all over it. We'll get to him later with our news hound. Um, now, the, uh, one, one thing I want to ask. Um, your Instagram is, I love your Instagram. It's got some great content. Lingers doesn't. Uh, well, Lingers doesn't. <laughs> Does not. Um, it's a certain person's birthday today. Uh, it's our former captain, yes, Jack Viney. We have, fast we captain. have to break this down. Um, I want to know what the criteria is to get a birthday post because I missed out one a year. A James Harms birthday <laughs> post. I missed out one year. Me and James are close. I've missed out but, on I, but I've got it a couple of times. So. I've got a couple. I've got, more, say, you get a couple I've got more than I've missed. So Harmsy yeah. gives out a birthday post to about 80 people a year. Would you say 80? Yeah. So do about 80. I want to know how, what's the line? And, oh, my- and, and does Viney get one today? <laughs> Well, he probably has to get one now, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the criteria is. I mean, if 
if I'm thinking, oh, you know, I'll see someone else put up something up. I'm like, yeah. oh, if I can find a good photo, then I'll chuck it up on the story. Yeah. But I did miss you one year. You missed I think me. I was at a music festival. I'm in a, f- a very it's a hard festive time of, the, time of year. the year. Like it's, what is it? The, December 30. The 30th of December. Yeah. I think I was at a music festival. Most hey, I think I was with you. Yeah, yeah we probably were together. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I did miss you, but... I made up the next year. I think I did like 10 photos. Yeah, he so. did a couple. He did a couple um, of posts last time. So, yeah. So, Vines is getting one. Is one of me. I'm going to need a selfie of him today and yeah. chuck it on Insta. So, there's no <laughs> real criteria. It's more just a how you feel in the moment. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's how I feel in the moment. It's a spare of a moment decision. Yeah. Um, yep. Has there been much backlash? But like, obviously, I've got a lot into of people it. who say, <laughs> "How many friends do you have that get posted?" And then the people who don't get posted know they're not in your top hundred. Yeah, friends. I think Rick Lever didn't get one a few years ago, and I had to get a selfie with him. On did, he, did he bring it up? He, he bring it up, so I got a selfie with yeah. him. Okay, so. well, good on him for bringing if, it up. If I've got a good photo with you, then yeah. you get on my Instagram. Yeah, I mean, and the, well, that's probably a good metric because right. if you're not you're not mates with them, then you're probably not getting much, many photos, are you? Exactly. So there you go. On the birthday. Topic, um, you're also our hippipa, yeah. which I think is a, a great personality trait. So, so we so sing happy birthday. Every yeah, time notice I'm birthday. not pulling you up. Notice how I'm not pulling you up on that uh, English. Someone might have heard hippipa and thought, "What the hell is he talking about?" So let me just say that this has got an endorsement from the whole podcast, James, and you are the man who, when it gets to the end of the song, you sing. Hi, uh, hip, 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 hooray! Yeah, you do the hip hips. I, I do the hip hips. So, which I think is a big power move. The it's person who does huge. that huge, and it, I'm. If you watch me when there's a, a song, a birthday song getting sung, if you watch me, oh, I'm excited to do yeah. that hip hip. You don't even sing the song. You I don't, like I don't do it. I'm, I'm wait. I'm whining. I'm getting myself ready. Yeah. We actually I'm sung it when you were injured the other day. Yeah. Uh, I was and, on the and, no, and no one sung hip hip. Yeah. Like we had no one. It stopped. Yeah. Well, no, I, we, need to, we need to address that. We need yeah. a second. We need a second in line. So yeah. I reckon it's a great trait. Can we give it I think it. Jonesy loves doing it. Yeah. Jonesy give fires to, up. Give yeah. us the big chunker then. Yeah. Chunker did one. But we need to do vines today. So. Yeah. I'm, oh, like, yes, I'm, I'm excited to hear. Maybe we can get some vision for the. Yes. You get a little snippet of James Harm singing hip hip. That'd be a good snippet. Now, talk to me about the two businesses. You're an entrepreneur outside As aside football. from the if, uh, well, economic Well, Fat Nut, obviously, you've got the name Fat Nut, so it was a bit of fun. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of taken off a little bit for us. Uh, my good friend, Luke Boyle, who I think- He's fat. He's, yeah, he's fat. He's fat. <laughs> he admits it. <laughs> but he's actually lost, I think he's lost over um, about 80 kilos. So He's, he's lost 80 yeah, kilos? he's lost a lot. <laughs> And he's still on a little bit on the heavy side. But what was he? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he won't mind. He was, he was a big boy. What is he, seven foot three <laughs> or something? <laughs> he's a, he's a, you, have you not met Luke? Mate, I'm sure I would have. If yeah. I'd, he takes photos, doesn't he? Yeah, he takes yeah. photos. He's a photographer. So he started the business and then I kind of came in to try and help push it along a bit. And um, with, 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 with your profile. With my profile, yeah. which is, you know, I, I love sharing photos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, no, it's going pretty well. And um, my sister, she moved down from Canberra and has a, um, a jewellery store, Unique Diamonds, um, which a few boys have actually popped in there, popped their head. Well, you I got right? Jess a ring. Max, you, you did? Jess yeah, ring. her third ring. Apparently got to buy three. Yeah. Got so you got engagement, wedding, and then the eternity or something for yeah. when the Aren't first, the first anniversary. Two for eternity anyway. Yeah, that's what I said. It, it, it just keeps going. Apparently, yeah. every year they need they need a new one. I tell you what, that's the diamond industry. You know, I tell you what, yeah. Mark, yeah. Daniel Crawley's been sniffing around the unique diamond <laughs> store a little bit. So. Keep sniffing, Daniel. Has Angus been in? No, Angus hasn't been. There's been a few boys in. I'm not going to say. Yeah. Who wow, been. there's a few. <laughs> no, yeah. not a few. More. You're yeah, implying no. more than one have a ring in their back pocket about to propose. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Wow. Oh. I might. That's we got to do a market for that. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, um, no, we don't endorse gambling, mates, no, but I think there would be something in that for Yes, the Unique Diamonds, they're going really well. Um, I might have just tried to help push that, the Melbourne store here. Um, Corey works there? Corey, yes, my partner works there. She's uh, learning all about the diamond industry. And, and she um, hasn't said what ring she's <laughs> after yet? She's implied it a couple of times, but okay. she, I tell you, she's a long way off getting a ring. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's not a long way off, but I've just had to pay for, for half the visa. Oh, don't worry, mate. It's, yeah. um, I've had, had to fork out a bit of money already. So I can't, I can't relate to that. I've never, pole, had to, yeah. I never had to pay for a visa. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so visa. We did go to China in 2010. We had to pay a couple of bucks for the get into China. That's about the same, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So We're not allowed to talk about the China 2010 trip. <laughs> Got barred from all our memories. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like communism here, so. Yep. Just before we finish, you've been great. Haven't you? But... Uh, one of your great talents, not only do you, you're a hippipper, 
Uh, you're also a beautiful singer. <laughs> I knew this was going to come up. <laughs> yeah, well, I was going to say to you before, yeah, don't try and make me sing something. We were thinking of potentially doing a new segment for all of our guests, just to sing out a couple of lines. And your favourite song, I mean, you do is some good Red Hot Chili Peppers, you do some good Rubens, but I think Banana Pancakes is probably your best. Yeah, that's... Uh, is, what is it? Which one, is it, would, your, what which one you could you sing a couple of lines you know the words to? We can give you a bit of a beat. Um, just, to, just to throw us well, to the break. <laughs> well, we don't do Californication. Yeah, because we struggled that with that. Yeah, that's on my Instagram a um, while back if anyone wants to look at that. Yeah, we'll do um, Banana Pancakes. What so. sort of beat do you want like that? I don't know how. I don't know what the beat is. Maybe I'll just go for it. Yeah, yeah. just go for it. How's it, how's it start again? <laughs> no, that's what I'm Make saying. Make banana pancakes, pretend like it's a weekend now. <laughs> <laughs> we can pretend it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> James? Can't you see that oh. it's just raining? <laughs> there ain't no need to go outside. That's all I've got for you. James, oh, beautiful. Yeah. Thanks, really Thanks, Jim. You took Thank you. James, uh, absolute pleasure. Thanks for coming on. No, nah, thanks hopefully for Hopefully the risk gets better soon. Yeah, ho- hopefully I can come back on. I had, a, had good fun. Yeah. So if you ever want, I mean, if you ever want a third person to come on. More than happy. What do you like at reading the news? I can't read great, so. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Tim. <laughs> thanks, boys. <laughs> thanks to our co-principal partner and podcast sponsor, Zurich Insurance. For over 100 years, they've been insuring the people and things you truly love. And just like you, they truly love footy and they truly love the Ds. It's Benny Gibson. He's got the news. He's got the news. Thanks, Max. I reckon this is the best podcast to date. I'm going to go really? hard early. Harmsy was good, wasn't he? Harmsy was good. Yep. I'm, I'm glad he can't read. So yep. One less person <laughs> that I've got to compete with. The, the, there's still so much noise about Chandler. He must have been good. Yeah, there has yeah. been a lot on the socials. Yeah. I was annoyed when he came on and he stole my Jake Lever contract, <laughs> but I've got one for you today. Oh, oh, have we got a new signing? I've got one. I've got breaking. This could be my first exclusive. Wow. So... There was a bit of talk around the trade period that potentially a star midfielder could be on the move. Don't I think Carlton was thrown around. Clayton Oliver, two years, signed to the end of 2023. How good is that? That is so much better than Lever and Gorn signing. Yeah, look, uh, that's brilliant. Clary, geez, he's... She's off the back of three 30, I was about to say, 30 disposal he, games. The iron's hot. He's oh. striking while the iron's hot. Extra two years. Lucky DeBoer got injured at halftime because he, he might have been just one year if DeBoer stayed yeah, on. Exactly. <laughs> he had the better of O'Connor though. He did have the better of O'Connor. O'Connor sort of uh, went, went off him, him at track. one point, didn't he? He yeah. started playing as a backman, I think, in the second half. Yeah, probably probably because he was having yeah. playing so well. That's great news. Good that's news. well done. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's put a I'm smile on my that. face. The news hand sniffing out a story. Who, we got one more, don't we? Well, the other one in terms of uh, the changeover of the presidency, I could have brought you that if we had the podcast a little bit earlier, but of, of course, Glenn Bartlett. Well, has, when did you find out? Uh, Were you the leak? <laughs> I wasn't the leak. Uh, you catch up with Tom Morris much? Tom, Mor- Tom Morris had that one. <laughs> used, to be, used to be a friend of the podcast. Well, he, he started the podcast. the podcast. Yeah. Yeah, he was the genesis yeah. podcast. Started genesis. and finished it pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, obviously, Glenn Bartlett has stepped aside. Kate Roffey uh, will now be the president of the club. Yep. I overheard a funny conversation that you were involved with post game. So well, how far were you away from the conversation? I was just walking past. <laughs> I was actually waiting for Frida. For the That's between captain and president. I don't yeah. think you should stick your ear in that one. <laughs> we were waiting for Frida for about half an hour to do an interview. Yeah, anyway, right. you're just talking to Glenn and Max goes, uh, the Jess was in the function, the, mm. the president club. And Max asked how she looked, which I feel like put Glenn in an awkward situation. Oh, right. How do you answer that? How do you answer how the captain's wife I looks? That's a great question. How did he answer I didn't what realize were you I asked that. What do you mean? You well, didn't sometimes you just got to come up. Hey, mate, how are you going? Yeah, not too bad. How did my missus look in the no, president's function? No, he said, I, I saw your, oh, yes, I saw your wife in the president's lounge and she, she spoke. I think I meant to say how'd she speak and I okay. run with how'd she look. Yeah, that's a different one. Yeah. Sorry, Glenn, if you're listening, which he is. He probably is. Because I, we can't get Glenn on anymore because nah. we, we need him for shapes. We do. I think there's something in that. You know, I'm not breaking a news story, but I am saying potential conspiracy. We get Shapes Glenn, are taking him out. Yeah, get Glenn starts sniffing around this, the Shapes controversy and all of a sudden he's out of power. I think there's something in that. It's a Shapes-related move. I know. Could be. I'm not saying it is, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> a little one to come from the game. Nev Jett has got a $2,000 fine for oh, a, oh. a sling tackle on... Uh, Menegola, Sam Menegola. <laughs> I went up to that. I went up to that umpire and said, I think that's the worst decision I've seen on that wing at the MCG. <laughs> 
He asked me which one, so he played it pretty cool. Good on him. Uh, of course, Stephen May also went down. You were going to uh, mention him earlier. So he's out for two to four weeks with a fractured right eye socket. Also, no, no concussion? Also had a concussion, had a concussion, which is his second in five weeks. So he would be out for 12 days. He's going to be out for more than 12 days. Anyway, yep. it'll depend on how the swelling heals. Yep. So hopefully that goes down and he can see again. If you're, uh, you would have sent some news hands to the VFL to report back to you, do yeah. we have a some replacement for him? I just wanted to do one more on Stephen May. So we posted, do you see that photo on Instagram yeah. with the face? Yeah. That got more likes than anything else we've had this year. So people love More than that. Gus and Gorney. More than Gus and Gorney. That had 12,000 likes on Insta. And for a bit of context, like the post game, uh, Full time for four zip that had seven thousand. So people yeah, love. But that's not. I'm not surprised. Blown that, up. Stephen shock, May. That's shock, shock, you know, yeah. yeah, that sort of stuff sells. Yeah. I bet if you accumulate all the stuff on Stephen May, all the likes, and accumulate all of our stuff, I think we'd win. That yes. So oh, that's called quantity. <laughs> doesn't matter. Doesn't quality. Matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Doesn't. <laughs> Look who's in front. Yeah, uh, like Maisie, get your other eye. Who's right. coming in for him? VFL was a good. Oh, I'd like to see Harry Petty. Yeah. That's not news. That's just a, opinion. But I like Harry. I Petty. think it's a two way battle without. Wiping off anyone else that's playing in the back line, but I feel like um, it's between the two, Hibbo and Petty. Yeah, okay. Hibbo's a smaller Different option. Different players, Petty's yeah. a taller option. Who are we playing this week? Hawthorne, who are they for? Uh, week well, up? Mitch Lewis is out suspended, I'm pretty sure. He got a week. Okay. So they got a spare ruck, Segler, and o they got Brian. Tim O'Brien. And Kaczynski kicked yeah, the six in the JLT game. He's a taller, I think. Yeah, So and then the week after we've got Richmond, so Lynch yeah. Rewalt. Uh, Interesting. Well, I'd like to see Petty have a go. Um, Debut wasn't ideal, probably a few years back, but it's done some good things since the debut. He's been good since. Didn't have to bring up. You've the reached debut. right back into the archives. There, <laughs> he's a listener as well. Now he's got to have doubts about. No, it. Listen to that man, Harry. He doesn't speak for the gang. Uh, so you mentioned the VFL. Yes. The big news was Sam Wiedemann, Ben Brown played half a game, so they're back. I'm on good authority. They pulled up very well. Everyone always says oh, they they pulled up well, but. Yeah. Um, the source is reliable that they've pulled up well. <laughs> okay. So, uh, body's um, feeling good. Hoping to play a full match this weekend, which is round one. Great conditions to come back for tall forwards. Yeah. Rainy, rain. windy, and we had five tall forwards. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. Um, Mitch Brown had to play as a small. I think Mitch Brown kicked three. Ben Brown won. Wiedemann didn't. Majak kicked one. But yeah, Majak. So it's a great forward line. Yeah. Um, to shame all's wet. Yeah. So full game this week, round one for the VFL slash AFL. The, Against Box Hill. Yeah, with the 40-team league or however yep. many they've got now. Box Hill. That's at 12.05, so potentially fans could do a double header wow. into Melbourne Hawthorne. Where is it? That's at Box Hill City Oval. Yeah, it's better than Practical. Then, Practical. Uh, just mentioned that it is a members replacement game. This week. This week. So That's where Alice game. Springs game. Yep. So fans can get along with the MTG. And watch Melbourne Hawthorne after watching Ben Brown and Sam Wiedemann in in the twos. There's been a increase I've noticed in the number of fans we've got coming. So hopefully we can really really pack it out this week. Surely, yeah, we get a, some serious. Don't backers. all just save it for Anzac Eve. Nah, which could be Jones's 300, which would be a big. That's got to be a big crowd. Anything else yeah. happening that week? What Anzac Day? Yeah. Anything else? You've you've, you've named a milestone. You don't is know it, either. Is it your hundred? Yes. <laughs> oh, you're going to get nothing that week. <laughs> what a shocking day to have 100. <laughs> it's our 400th. That's what I said to Jonesy. We just got to get through this week, touch wood. It's not even your day in the Brayshaw family. What's happening? Oh, no. No, it isn't. No. <laughs> yeah. It's Will's. Anyway, that is that terrible one. timing. I know. It's not about me. It's about... So it won't be. Oh, that's <laughs> it won't be anywhere. Anyway. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure you get some sort of – we can't double chair ride you off. I don't uh, think you get chair off. I wouldn't expect. Maybe you, you can help with the chair. Phone. You don't get chair well, – because if you're doing it, though, we'll need – I'll just put him on my shoulders. Sandlands did that with Ballantyne that time. It was <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> that was funny. Who do you think Jones will go to for the, for the chair? Well, uh, your longest, tough, longest teammate is Neville. Yeah, Gets most games played, played with would be Tom. It'll, Closest it be, mates, Melksham. It could be you and Tom. I think it might be me and Melky. But that's going to be, yeah, you know, that's uneven. If it's you the same with anyone. It. Me and Chunk did Louis. Jeez, I'm going to have to go back and see that one. Yeah. You and Chunk. Yeah, and and more importantly, <laughs> Pedo and Chunk did Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where Pedo came Is from. Apparently, he ran from like the back pocket. Came from deep. And he goes, I'll put you up, Bernie. <laughs> so Bernie's got a phone up. Anyway, 
Um, anything else? Nah, that's all. That's all. That was good today. Well done. The Clayton yeah. Oliver news is great. That has yeah. made my. When does that get released to everyone? Uh, hopefully this afternoon. Otherwise, this podcast will probably get delayed. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't be first. Well, we can try. Oh, that's great. Um, suppose that's it. Well, yeah. Anything else? No. Yeah, we'll see you. Um, see you next week. Hopefully with lingers. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Thanks for um, only giving us five minutes and we had you in the room for 35. I feel bad. Is this still the podcast? Oh, no, you gave us seven minutes. Are we, oh, still, no. are we still on? Or? Yeah, we're still on. Oh, we never stop. That's the key. Hey, right.